What is up? Steve here. I hope you are doing well. I am coming at you from sunny southwest Florida here in Bonita Springs, Bonita Beach. And uh, before we get into this, I want to see if you could do me a quick favor because I really want to get to know you and figure out a little bit about you. So if you wouldn't mind dropping in the comment section below where you're from and what do you do for a living, it'll really help me out in terms of understanding audiences and so forth. So I'd really appreciate that. Um, so I'm going to get into a personal story in regards to uh, new construction, new builds here in a second because I think it's important to understand experiences in the past. And uh, if you don't know, I'm a local real estate broker here in Southwest Florida and I've been through the last real estate recession and uh, definitely learned a lot from it, which is one of the reasons for this channel just to talk about a lot of experiences that I've had good and bad to say the least. So right now we have builders uh, sediment is the builders are nervous right now. There's no doubt about it. They're, they're nervous. The open houses that they have have been dropping off with people walking through. Um, you got basically we're getting a ton of emails from builders talking about the incentives that they have for real estate agents now, which was not a thing I can tell you. Um, in the last 24, 36 months um, since the pandemic because builders really were, you know, they didn't even want real outside real estate agents involved in many, in a lot of cases because they, um, they would have to pay more in commissions, bottom line. So there was not an incentive for builders to reach out to real estate agents. Now there is. Um, the amount of uh, housing starts is down. The amount of uh, applications or new applications for, for home builds is down in terms of permits. So there's a lot going on right now for new construction. So let's talk about, sorry if it's a little loud, we got some boats going by. Um, so the last real estate recession, we, um, we got hired as a, uh, in outside real estate brokerage to basically have exclusive rights for a builder. And the builder, um, unfortunately, canceled on a lot of contracts. So essentially, I, uh, I reached out to the, the uh, general contractor who was building the houses. And I call him up and I'm like, hey man, we need to meet up because these builds, they, they just were not progressing forward. The, the, um, the construction process was not moving forward on a lot of these, these home builds. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I call him up and he's like, yeah, the, I'm not gonna mention his name, the, the owner of the development company said to basically stop all construction. And this is, I want to say probably about 90 homes that we had in contract with people, um, whether it was going to be investment property or people were building these homes for themselves to to live in. And um, so I get word of that, and I'm like, this makes no sense. And this is basically at the time where everything is falling apart. But I I didn't know about I didn't know because this was basically the first sign of it. And this is why I'm bringing this to your attention right now. So I call up the owner of the development company and I was like, you know, what what's going on here? And basically he proceeds to tell us that the every property that we got people into contract, unfortunately the prices were too low because the cost of everything just skyrocketed. Cost of materials jumped up, the cost of labor jumped up and he's like, we will lose money on every property that you guys sold that we got into contract if we proceed forward. And I was like, well, what do you, what do you want to do here? And he basically was like, we can go ahead and renegotiate contracts. And essentially he was talking about a hundred thousand dollars more per contract. And these houses were, homes for people that, you know, middle, you know, middle class or, you know, affordable housing essentially. And, um, and I was like, you know, there's, there's no possible way that people are going to be able to afford the upswing in this. And he's like, well, if they don't agree to it, then they are going to have to walk away from the contract. We'll give their deposits back. And I was like, well, I'm not going to be the one making these calls. And he's like, basically, yes, you are. So we got 
into a uh, kind of a heated debate, needless to say. And uh, sorry, I'm sweating right now because it's hot out today. So we got into a heated debate and I was like, you know what, F it. So I proceed to call all the people that we had into contract, explain the situation. And uh, straight up, I was just very, very honest with them. And a uh, lot, of, lot of heartbreak, a lot of upset people. Um, I don't think anybody was really upset at me because I was, you know, the messenger on it. I was blindsided, which I explained that to people as well, that I was extremely uh, just blindsided by the whole situation and pissed, very pissed off. Um, you got to understand too, we, we're talking in terms of our livelihood and we worked for, for years to get people into these contracts and everything else. We were, our team was stand to lose like $350,000, $400,000 in commissions. So fast forward a couple months, I reached back out to the, the developer and he's like, you know what, that, that price is going to go up even further. And uh, a lot of people just couldn't couldn't afford it. And um, I know that there's a handful of people that actually did retain attorneys and uh, filed lawsuits. And I think a, a couple of them did prevail in litigation, which I supported them in that. And a um, couple things that I got out of it. For one thing, you know, some people that I hear on not just this channel, other channels as well, and I read the comments. And I do read the comments, by the way. I'm sorry if I don't get, get to everybody. But uh, I learned that you got people saying that the housing market's never gonna crash or it's not gonna go down. And obviously we're finally, finally starting to see it because of the rise of uh, mortgage rates mortgage interest rates definitely has had a compounding effect on all this and uh, people are so kind of like one-sided almost like stubborn or maybe naive to certain situations and they're like no it's not gonna happen they're you know concrete about that and I and I can't stand here and say there's definitely gonna be a crash you know what I mean because there's other factors let's say the Fed approves and they start buying mortgage-backed securities at you know 60 year amortization i mean could you imagine that so i can never say that you know because if that were to happen shit, i think real estate would skyrocket in price um so you can never say with confidence in any kind of investment that you can guarantee what's going to happen so what i learned was You don't know what you don't know. And I did not see that coming. I really didn't. I mean, I, I knew that based on us holding these model homes open, the market was softening at the time. But to have a builder just pull the rug out from underneath of us, did not expect that at all. And then as time progressed, we all knew what was going on and what was happening. And, you know, we saw a lot of, he was probably one of the smarter developers out there because uh, he didn't have really any unfinished homes. And uh, I knew a lot of developers that did have unfinished homes, some completely unfinished communities or half-built communities. And uh, so things changed pretty rapidly then. And I think we're starting to see that in today's market as well, that things are rapidly changing now as well. So, um, you know, if you guys are in the market of buying new construction, I would suggest that you just take your time. Take your time. Those builders are gonna have, you know, there's still a lot of properties under construction right now. And they are gonna be screaming and shouting for buyers to come back into their model homes to buy these properties. And they're probably gonna throw a ton of incentives out there as well. And um, you, you guys might have some leverage on that. And look, even if you're buying, you know, at a higher price right now, if you need a house, you're gonna be there for a while and you're negotiating a good deal and you feel happy about that deal, 
then then thumbs up you know because over time real estate uh for the long term does go up short term i think it's going to go down so it just depends on everybody's there's like a damn wasp about to hit me i'm gonna get away from that guy it depends on everybody's personal circumstance everybody's personal situation and um Again, this channel is not here to say you should do this or you should do that. I want people to watch these videos and say, you know, okay, I'm gonna take that into consideration when I'm making my decision, whether it's buying, selling, or investing in real estate. Anyway, that's my rant for today. Hope you got something out of it. And uh, I appreciate you being here with me today. And I'll see you on the next video. See you.